Hi Capricorn, this is Mary Shiva Charles Saloka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me right now. Capricorns are someone arising Venus. Happy New Year, people. Capricorns are there. Someone arising Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Just one more time. Capricorns out there. Capricorns out there, what is your first card, please? Your first card is this one. Look at the Seven of Cups energy. There is this energy about daydreaming, being optimistic about the situation. Yes. It seems like uh, there is something which you're waiting for which has potential. Okay? You're hoping for this to come through. It feels like it is in your reach. Okay, when we're looking at this card, it seems like this person is hoping for something. And they feel like it is in their reach. Okay, with that speech of pentacles energy, there is potential within this, even though it doesn't seem like it is something huge. It might be something uh tiny. Okay, but it still brings about some kind of a change for the better. Okay, so it has potential. Some of you might be dealing with a scorpion. All right, Capricorns out there. What is your next card, please? Some of you, you feel, uh, there is this energy about having your head up in the clouds. It could be over-optimistic as well. Being over-optimistic. Good things of pentacles, it's just confounding, all right? Page of pentacles, I told you about the tiny opportunity, okay? It might seem small right now, but it has the potential to grow into something big. So you want this anyhow, okay? That is why I got the energy of daydreaming. You have your head up in the clouds. If this happens, this is how, it is, uh, this is how it's going to be, okay? Because there is loads of potential within that opportunity which is coming your way. It will grow into something bigger. All right, moving on. All right, Capricorns, what is your next card, please? This, card's, uh, this card wants to show up, so Knight of Wands. And it seems like, you know, Things are rushing in. You know, you might be hearing about this. Knight of Wands is a fast-moving energy. It could be a messenger energy as well. You might be um, hearing about something, about the situation. Okay? Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpion or a Sagittarius. All right, Capricorns, what is your next card, please? this one the magician all right it seems like you're coming through as a magician okay um, there has to be a choice which needs to be made and it seems like you are uh, you feel like you will be able to manipulate this decision okay two of swords is about a uh, decision which has to be made. And I feel like you uh, you are trying to influence this decision. Okay? And I feel like, you know, uh, this decision is someone else. Okay, this person who is blindfolded and who has to take that decision is someone else. And you will be able to I keep getting the word manipulate, but it's a strong word, okay? So you will be able to influence that decision. Influence is a better word, okay? It's not manipulative. It's just you will want things to go in your favor, so you will do what is required, okay? To make things go your way. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or probably a Libra. All right, what is your next card, please? Capricorns out there, what is your next card, please? Your next card is this one. 
Look at the five of wands in the center of the reading. There is so much conflicts around you, okay? Uh, there might be different people who is involved in, in the story, okay? You trying to influence this decision, you trying to be the magician, is not going to go down well with others. There will be loads of conflicts. Okay. Whatever that opportunity is, uh, remember the page of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. It seems like everybody wants this. There is more than one person who is aiming for that opportunity. Okay. You're looking at the queen of swords. So it seems like, you know, the person who has to make the decision has to be very fair. They cannot think with their emotions because there's too many people who want the same thing. Okay. So everybody seems to be fighting for the same thing. So whoever is the decision maker, that two of swords energy is the same person, the queen of swords. Okay. They have to be very just. Queen of Swords for me is the icy queen. She has a heart, but she has to um, think with her head instead. Okay, she, she cannot let her emotions come in the way. Because she has to think what is best, who is best for this opportunity. All right. This person might have a person who is their favorite. They want to give this uh, opportunity to this person, but is this person the best person for, if it's a job situation, is this person the best person, uh, best person for this job? So that's, that's how she has to make that decision. All right. There is definitely loads of conflict regards around the situation. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo or probably um, a Virgo or a Libra. Capricorns out there. What is your next card, please? Okay, this is your next card. You got the Three of Wands. Somebody is waiting for the ships to come through. Somebody is waiting for things to come their way. All right? We have got a magician. That's why I said you, you're doing... Magician is a trickster. This person is able to man manifest whatever they want. So you're doing your part. And you're waiting. You're waiting for whatever it is. Okay? To come your way. This is a merchant who is waiting for the ships to return. So this magician is literally waiting for that opportunity to be handed over to them. Okay? But the thing is, it's not going to be easy. <laughs> exactly. Fire sports. Five wands, five swords. See, there is a little battle going on. But you are not even bothered. And you're not even bothered to fight them. You're doing what is, you know, you, you're somebody who's very strategic about the way you deal with things. You know it's not worth fighting. Okay? You, you do what you got to do. Your focus is on uh, how to make things happen for you. You're not involved in this conflict. Okay? People are fighting, you don't care. You're doing what you've got to do. You're focused on uh, making this person give it to you. Yes. For the Knight of Wands to come your way. And this, this opportunity, whatever it is, it is going to offer you so much stability, so much security. Okay? All right, one last card for, some of you might be dealing with an Aries. One last card for the Capricorns out there. All right. This one. You've got the Hermit. 
okay? Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo energy. And I feel like, you know, uh, somebody is shining the lamp on you, okay? You are being assessed. You're being watched. Yes, the Six of Cups. These are the people who is around you. You need to understand you are under the spotlight. Okay? Some, someone out there who has to make this decision in regards to who gets this position, who gets this opportunity is watching you. You're under the radar right now. Whatever you're doing, your actions, everything is being watched. How you deal with the people around you, how you're doing your part, everything is being watched. Yeah. You're under the scrutiny, okay? You need to know that. Whatever you're doing is being watched because the magician and the hermit. Even if you don't realize it, okay, even if you feel like, you know, no, but you'll be watched. So be mindful of it. And even the conflict which is going on, it is, you know, uh, it is being highlighted. They know what is going on. Okay? So be aware of your actions. Yeah. And how you deal with the people. Some of you might be dealing with a scorpion or a bug. I'm just going to break the deck and we have the queen of pentacles. You need to be very grounded in the way you deal with others, in the way you do your stuff, all that, okay? Be in your best uh, behavior right now until the decision is made okay at least uh that's it for now this is my channel to look at until next time bye bye and i wish you the best bye bye